Hey guys, so um, looks like I have to pick up some new flowers. The white roses that I got the other week are looking kind of rough. So these are uh, chrysanthemums, but it's Pluie Chrysanthemum. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess it looks like that. <laughs> but when you look at it here, it kind of looks like garlic, garlic bulbs or onions. So the price here is four euros for one, one bunch, and then two bunches is seven euros. So I can put the money in here. Uh, I cut my four euros here. Let's put it in. And then I'm gonna choose ones that are kind of closed still so that I can watch them open. They all look the same to me. Oh, this one looks nice actually, so I'll grab this. Oh, they're quite heavy. Oh. <laughs> they're huge. <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's put these in. There's a place around here where they sell freesias. So I think next time, sorry, I think next time after these ones are gonna uh, die, I'll probably go get the freesias. Those are one of my favorite types of flowers. Does this even fit? Okay. So I'm just gonna like fasten it in because it's quite heavy and big. Okay, so I made it home. I had to trim them down because they were like super long and so it looks like this now. Put some water in. But now I have to open these up. So I've never had chrysanthemums before. This is the first time. I'll open them up and show you guys what they look like. Okay, so I opened a few up. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely beautiful. They smell really, they don't smell like much. They smell green. I smell definitely like a green stem kind of scent. Oh, they're so nice. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Hopefully I don't uh, have an accident. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Sorry guys. Maybe this one. Just got to stretch these open. Yep, there you go. Nice. I'll do the rest of them now and then I'll show you guys again. So this is what they look like all opened. I had to bring it outside so that you guys can get a better view of it. But yeah, they are really, really pretty. Love it. So I'm going to put these in the living room and I'll be back with uh, a review <laughs> or a video of perfume. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in a bit. Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. Okay, so today I want to do a very first sniff of a fragrance that is new release from the house of Juliet Has a Gun. This is called Lipstick Fever. So for those of you who've been watching me for a while, uh, you might already know that I'm not really a huge fan of this house. There's so many of them that smell very, very bad on my skin. Um, there's a few hits. Um, I think um, Midnight Oud is kind of interesting. And there's also the... Um, the mm. uh, those are the two I think that stand out, but for the rest... For the rest of them, they either uh, smell just very average and then some of them are really really bad so uh, I'm not that hopeful with this new release but yeah you know I like to try new stuff and let you guys know what I think about it uh, so this is my very first sniff let's get this on a test strip first all right Hmm. 
Okay. This is nice. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> what am I going to say? Okay, right. No, just kidding. Um, okay, so when I first think of lipstick, I think of the lipstick that my mom used to wear when I was a kid. Um, sometimes I would go into her room and like put some lipstick on. Um, and then I would get this really weird waxy kind of thick waxy kind of smell coming from it. And as a kid, I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> So I was, I guess I associate uh, my mom's cheap lipsticks um, from when I was a kid to when I think of lipstick. But this does have a waxiness to it, but it doesn't smell like those cheap ones that my mom used to wear. <laughs> this is, it smells like, it smells like um, lipstick, but it smells like a high-end, luxury, expensive lipstick. It's a bit powdery. I'm getting a bit of sweetness coming in here. The sweetness is very uh, soft and subdued. It's in the background. To me, the most prominent thing is like this powdery, almost iris kind of lipstick smell. I'm thinking of a very expensive lipstick and um, Maybe it's melted a little bit because of the weather. Maybe it's warm and it's in a makeup bag also with a very expensive powder compact. Yeah, it's really nice. Hmm, I'm surprised by this one. I don't own any lipstick fragrances. There hasn't been one that I just felt like I needed to own. Um, lipstick Rose is quite nice. Not the one though for me. Um, lipstick on also quite nice there's this beautiful sweetness in here that um, just goes along with that uh, waxy powdery um, lipstick smell it's very very soft I, I sprayed it on here and it's I gotta put my nose right up to here if I go like this I don't really smell anything <laughs> but right up close it's very very soft it's not really like coming off very strongly so I assume on skin it would be quite soft on the skin hmm. yep yeah, I'm picturing a very posh uh, rich lady uh, wearing a black dress and her hair is in like in a big um, curly wavy kind of style and she has like big lips and she's wearing red lipstick that's what i'm kind of thinking and she's like eating cherries or something <laughs> yeah quite nice you guys i'm quite surprised by that it's not uh, it doesn't smell like chemical to me at all a lot of the other fragrances from juliet has a gun uh to me they came off chemical ish but this one smells very very like a uh, like a sweet lipstick smell okay so let's pull up the notes here and I'll just read it out to you the bottle looks like this it has like this ombre effect a black and then two red uh, the main accords woody powdery floral fruity and sweet um, there's little right up here. She does very bad things, but she does them well. Juliet has a gun. Gun's latest addition is a fruity floral fragrance that dares to be desired. And then the top notes, there's raspberry and violet absolute. Okay, I guess that's the fruity part. In the heart, there's patchouli essence and iris absolute. And in the base, there's vanilla absolute and cedar. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is like an easy to wear easygoing lipstick scent um, yeah quite elegant I kind of like it <laughs> I'm not sure if it's my style though I'm not really that into lipstick scents but um, yeah this is a quite nice one I think I do like the uh, scent of Mac lipsticks they have like this um, creamy vanilla scent almost coming off as uh, a little bit marshmallowy whenever I wear Mac lipsticks um, if they made a perfume that smelled of MAC lipsticks, I might 
actually want to have that. But this one, yeah, it smells really nice and elegant and soft, sophisticated, realistic makeup bag, expensive red lips, not red, expensive lipstick in a makeup bag with some powder in it. So yeah, I do recommend you to try this. Um, I, yeah, I can't say anything bad about it right now. Uh, if uh, there's anything that comes up, I will just leave a comment about it in the in the uh, description box or in the comments. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.